Stop yanking your rigid stylet straight out of the endotracheal tube when you're intubating your patient with a rigid stylet. Let me show you why. So a rigid stylet is a great tool to use when intubating your patient, especially if you're using a hyperangulated blade on your laryngoscope. You guys know that I am much preferential to using a bougie, but if you're using the hyperangulated blade on your video laryngoscope, your bougie can't make the turn that you need with that hyperangulated blade. And so you've got to learn to use this rigid stylet, which is different because a bougie you're holding down here, the rigid stylet, you've got to control it up here at the top. Anywho, so let's get back to the removal. It is imperative that after you pass the endotracheal tube into the trachea, you've got to hang on good to that endotracheal tube. And then when you pull out your rigid stylet, make sure you're following the geometry that matches this rigid stylet. Well, why is that? There have been many documented cases of when this gets yoinked straight out, coming perpendicular to the patient, of causing deep lacerations on the inside of that trachea and even damage to the vocal cords. Because look what happens here with this model. If I pull it straight out, look what I'm doing to the endotracheal tube. That's exactly what was happening when it was here in the airway. And you can't hardly see it too well, uh, but you're going to cause a deep laceration right there in the trachea and cause the patient more damage than the good you're doing by intubating them. So now you know, follow the arc pattern of the rigid stylet when pulling it out of the endotracheal tube.